Three Eyes Tattoo Convention in Adelaide, and I'm with the absolute beautiful Camille. Thank you for having me, Convention <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Of course. So tell me, um, how's the convention been going so far? Oh, it's been awesome. I mean, this has been my first convention in over two years, and of course I wasn't going to miss this with Byron and Chris having this. I knew it would be amazing, and everyone that I've spoken to has had a really fantastic time, and I'm one of them. So yeah, it's been great. When did you first start doing your apprenticeship? Okay, so I started my apprenticeship when I was 16. Um, I was lucky enough to be offered an apprenticeship by a really amazing artist. And um, yeah, sort of on and off, you know, until I was around 21. And yeah, so we just went from there. Now, I know you're a brilliant painter. Do you have any other side projects going on at the moment? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Kel, that is a good question. For the first time in a long time, uh, apart from tattooing and my studio and the girls, I'm actually in the workings of developing a new core subject uh, and trying to instill that in every school across Australia which teaches self-love and mindfulness in kids beautiful. from prep all the way through year 12. So it, it'll be basically an aiding prevention for depression and suicide in young teens um, and the bullying factor really raised um, because obviously But now the kids don't have a break from it. The kids are, no, you know, they're, yeah. you know, when we got bullied at school, I got bullied really bad, and it affected me, affected me terribly when I was young. Um, but I could go home, and I had, you know, a good 12 hours away from it. The kids have all got social media these days, and it's just so hard to switch off from it. So basically, yeah, instilling self mindfulness and um, well, mindfulness and self love into these kids will really give them the strength that they need to get through. Um, and also will stop the bullies from bullying because they won't be insecure and have to prove or like tear other people down to make themselves feel so better. beautiful. So it'll be just bouncing, like bouncing, you know, emotions and ideas and these kids like really starting to learn about their feelings and their emotions and seeing where, you know, the other kids are at in class and, you know, really starting to work together as a team as opposed to working against one another. If we can get it into the kids like from five, like, you know, there is one thing that every single person needs in this world and it is the one thing that matters but it gets clouded by all this stuff that you know we fill our minds with of how to obtain it but realistically teaching self-love opens the floodgates for these kids to have enough confidence that they need to not only feel love for themselves and others but also to dream and believe and do anything that they want in this world because it's possible too many to mention. There's honestly too many to mention. Um, I, I gain inspiration from everyone. I gain inspir inspiration from apprentices that come and ask me and they're thirsty to learn and they're excited about you know jumping in so it sort of reminds me of how I was when I was younger and then also you've got like the amazing artists that are just killing it you know not only as humbly but also artistically because they're always like learning and growing. Basically any artist that hasn't switched off to learning and growing and sharing, you know, their knowledge with other artists and things like that and there is plenty, most of the best art like that, yeah, so it's really cool. Now I know you love to do black and grey, yes. but have you lately been doing any colour? Um, I only do colour on clients that I, are like my old clients <laughs> from like a few years ago and I might, you know, sort of finish some stuff, but yeah, I, I, I like to stick to black and grey, I'm, I'm, I'm not about stress these days, colour kind of stresses me. <laughs> and tell me, what sort of machines do you use? Um, I use a, it's, it's a swash drive machine and it's, um, it's actually called the brush. It's been developed uh, by swash drive and designed, or well, the design process idea is my own. So it's actually like a custom made type of machine for me. Which is actually, it actually came out on the market about eight months ago. But it's just got all like amazing, like, just my, it's my dream tattoo machine. <laughs> And it's just so great for like rendering black and grey and being able to come back over, you know, because it's really, it's, it's really non-invasive, but yet it's sturdy enough to like do beautiful, like packing up black and soft colors. So yeah, it's awesome. Thank you so much for today and good luck for the My pleasure. Mm -hmm. Always a pleasure to see you. Thank you. <laughs> Until next time, babe. <laughs>